everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Macari. And today we have a bins haul. Now I went to the bins with my daughter on Wednesday and we were there for five or six hours and got a whole bunch of stuff. And the last time I did a bins haul, um, it took over over an hour. I don't remember the exact amount, hour, hour and 15, hour and 20. And there's a lot of views on that video, but not a lot of retention. So I'm going to try to break this up into two parts. Um, give you guys the first part today, which is Friday, and then maybe do the second part on Monday, if I can fit that in, and maybe give you that on Tuesday, <clears throat> and do my what sold on Monday. So that's all that. So I got a whole bunch of stuff, and at the end of the second video, I will give you guys the cost of goods, um, how many total items there were and everything, um, yeah, and what my total price was, cost of goods, all the number stuff, you know, I do that at the end. So, um, this is my second time trying to start to film this. Um, when I was filming it the first time, there was a bright light coming through the window and there still is. So hopefully this is, this angle or this spot in this room is a little bit better. So we're going to start. Most of this, um, is plush. That I'm going to show you there might be some a few shoes mixed in or a few clothing items mixed in but the majority is going to be plush this time and then the next video will be the main part of the shoes and the clothing there we go also if you like these kinds of videos please leave me a thumbs up um, comment if you can and subscribe I would really appreciate it now let's get into it I did have a few shoes that I started off with and I forgot to move them so Give me two seconds to get out of the frame and I will bring in the shoes. Ooh, there we go. All right. First one, I do have the match for this somewhere. I just, it's not in the bag over here, but this is just a nice woman's sandal. I will kind of clean this up a little bit. And it's probably a brand called Atika. A-T-I-K-A. -A. And let's see, I don't know if it's, here's the size. US size seven. And then there is a pair of men's uh, loafers, Meslane, or Meslan is the name. And they're just a nice pair of leather loafers, which is a size nine. And then these are a brand I've never heard of called Yokono, uh, made in Spain. They got like the little indentations for the feet in there on purpose. And so those are pretty good condition. They sell for decent, so I picked them up. All right, now let's start with the plush. So I got this guy. I have no idea what he is. If any of you guys know, please leave it in the comments because I have tried to Google Lens um, him and I'm not finding him. So it's by a company called Amuse. He does have tags, but they're all written in an Asian language of some kind. Um, it says he's made in China, but I picked him up because I figured he might be like an anime um, character and he is a very large um, one of these so I was hoping that he would be um, worth it. So this is a foghorn leghorn. He is vintage from 1996. Um, they sell okay. He's in good shape. I mean he doesn't have any tears or rips or anything like that. He is a little bit dirty. Um, so like he's got a lot, a lot of funk here but it looks like it's mainly just like fuzzy stuff from being stored or whatever so I'm gonna do the best I can he does have um, a tag on him from the company that he made that was made him from um, Ace Novelty so we will see if he is worth anything this is just a little girl's Girl Scout doll and she was in really good condition I didn't look her up I just picked her up now my bins, I've, I've watched some videos on some, some other YouTubers. Um, let's see, what was the one I watched? Oh gosh, Harry Tornado. I watched his video where they went to the bins and they had the big, huge, giant bag of plush for like 75 cents. That is crazy. My, built, my Goodwill bins does not give any special pricing for plush. It is still the same price as clothing. So unfortunately, I still have to pay the dollar, I think 49 for these but the hands are magnetic 
This is a Cuddle Barn lamb. And again, I did not look this up. Oh, it's got something in here. Hmm. Didn't even notice that. So it's got a box of some kind in here, so it must make some kind of noise. If it works, so I will check that out and test it, see if I put some batteries in there. This is a Build-A-Bear. Just a normal Build-A-Bear from what I can tell. From 2019, so he's a newer one. He doesn't have any sound effects. This is another one that if any of you guys know what it is, please let me know. It is from Sega. Um, so yeah, that's her face or whatever. She's like laying down, I think, or something. So that's her body and her face. And her tag says that she is from Sega, uh, made in China. But then it's also got this tag here and it's got like this iridescent thing on there. So, and that says, Kadokoa, or K-A-D-O-K-A-W-A, -A -A, whatever. So yeah, if you guys know what she is, let me know also, because she could not come up um, in, but she may have, actually, yeah, I didn't realize she was laying down. She may have um, come up in Google Lens. I'll recheck that. So bag one, down. These I got for my daughter, because she asked me for them. Uh, I'm probably going to do whatever there. She does gymnastics now, so she wanted these to practice with and do her floor routines with. So there's, I think there's one, two, yeah, there's three of them. So all different colors. So she'll love those. Let's see, we got this, it's a Disney store. I do not know what she is from. But I will look her up. If any of you guys do, let me know. See, this is a vintage Winnie the Pooh. Um, they do sell a little better than I thought they did. So I did look this one up. See, I can't tell. I think this is 94. This is 94 or 84. I can't tell. Well, let's see. Here is another Build-A-Bear. Did it say what year? Um, 2013. It's kind of weird. It's really fat for a Build-A-Bear. And it's got the graduation thingy on it. It says class of 2014. But it's also got like a part belly button, which I've never seen them have before. And like I said, he's kind of fat. So I don't know. I will look it up and see um, the goodwill he was at. They were trying to get $4 for him or her. And here is another Build-A-Bear. And this one, though, is a Beauty and the Beast Build-A-Bear. Let's see. He, this one doesn't have any sound effects, but it is a Beauty and the Beast from 2017. Let's see this. Or I don't know, but this oh, this is a giving bear by Dem Deco. So it's a nice little giving bear. Uh, let's see, does it have a date on it from 2017? So, yep, <clears throat> and then I got this bear. There's actually several of these that were already sold, but this is, I see, made exclusively for Trout Man's Emporium by Gund. Uh, let's see. No date, but he's just a nice little Christmassy type bear. Good size. Let's see, here's another pair of shoes. I figured these fit me. I might end up keeping these for myself. I didn't try them on. But if they fit, I'll keep. These are some Skechers Australia, so kind of like Skechers version of Uggs. And so they're fur full lined. Um, yeah. In really good condition. The bottoms are almost perfect. Let's see. 
Does it say what size these are? What size are you? Uh, yep, it's US 9. So I'm usually between a 9 or a 9.5. So I'll try these on and see if they fit. And bag 2 down. Never ends up bag 3. So I guess the second video is definitely going to be longer other than the first video, which is fine. So this is an Aurora, kind of like a rainbow colored um, unicorn. I don't know how much this will sell for, but it was in really good condition and whatnot. So I got like his paws and everything are still super shiny. So let's see. This I did not look up either, but Easter is right around the corner. So I got this. I'm thinking it's a dandy, even though the tag is missing because it just has this tag and usually those are dandies but it's a nice um rainbow bunny got some tape on his booty all right a couple more this is a nice big bear or bear what am i thinking it's a horse chrissy come on by dandy and it's just a good big horse And then this is a little miracle. Um, I think it's a, um, I think it's like a reindeer. So I'm not sure. And last but not, oh no, not last but not least. Then I got this little elf squishmallow. And my son's home from school. So I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. And then just two more webkins. I do have their tags and their codes and all of that. So yeah, that is all the plush. I think there may be some plush in the other bags as well. Like there was some shoes in here, but we will get to that when we get to that. And yeah, hopefully you guys liked this video. It was a lot of plush um, at our bins all the time. Nobody else really likes to get those. So that is it. Hopefully you guys like this. And I will be back to you guys on Monday with another video. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Make a lot of great sales over the weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.